Hello all, this is this video is for people that want to get an internet connection over 3G who uh, don't have a service plan. Um, I have an HTC Evo V so I know that this works on on this phone. It's uh, Virgin Mobile is my uh, service provider and it's a prepaid plan. <clears throat> let me just show you that when I try to let me disconnect Wi-Fi and turn on mobile network when I try to connect it redirects me to Virgin Mobile's website And the way to get around that is to use Droid VPN. And I apologize about the, the traffic in the background. There's a state road about 30 feet away. I gotta be by the window to, to get a connection. So first download Droid VPN. And the, the version that's in the Play Store right now isn't the the right one so I go into Aptoid and download it from here Droid VPN It should come up the first one. There it is. Go into versions. The version is 1.8.7b. This one right here. Download that. Um, you got to be rooted for th for this to work. Uh, I was kind of nervous about rooting my phone because I've never done it before, and um, I guess it just seemed like a long, dying task. And I'm I'm not very tech savvy, but pretty much if if you can follow directions, you'll be okay. But there's a couple different websites where you can find a information on reading your phone. One of them is XDA Developers and the other one is Android Forms. Uh, for the HTC Evo V 4G there's a good uh, couple good YouTube videos. Um, one of them is by The Tech Techies and the other one is Mr. Lickstein. You may want to check them out. Um, and I use the Maxton browser when I use Droid VPN because um, if I use the stock browser, it when it brings up the Google page, it, it comes up in a different language. It's come up in Spanish and then also came up in Denmark before. So I use the, the Maxton browser and it doesn't do that. Um, okay, so go into Droid VPN and there's going to be... Uh, first thing I do is create an account create an account and then they'll email you the password you type in the password and uh, first make sure that you're connected to Chicago start it up oops I'm on Wi-Fi Turn this off. Turn back on the mobile network. Okay. Start it. Go into V logs.
failed to read my server reply. Try it again. Okay. If you're using the Android firewall, you gotta make sure that the kernel has internet permissions and also root. Uh, applications running as root. Try to go back in here and start it. Be connected. Upgrade later. And go into the browser. And now it won't it won't redirect to uh, Virgin Mobile's website. So that's how to stick it to the Virgin. There we go. Uh, let me think of I'm forgetting something. Oh, there's other videos on YouTube about uh, and they were using a Samsung phone. I'm not sure if this will work with the Samsungs, but what they did was they went into Terminal Emulator first. Before they opened up Droid PN, Droid VPN, they typed in Super User SU. Then they went back out, went to Droid VPN, and uh, started it up. Then went back into Terminal Emulator and typed in ping google.com. And then it should keep, keep continuing on going down. That's how you know it's working. And then and then they start up the droid beep. Or no. They um, go into settings. And go into running processes. And kill droid VPN. But you'll notice it'll still be up in the... Uh, in the t in the taskbar up there. And this time it's not. I'm not sure why. But uh, then they also said to swipe Joy VPN out of there. Or not. That's going to work. I don't know. But if you're going to do that that way, if the um, original way doesn't work for you, um, <clears throat> you're going to have to set up, you got to make sure that you have a busy box installed. Um, if you don't, go into the Play Store and download a busy box installer. And uh, you got to set this up. Preferences. And there's a couple things that need to be changed. Command line is the first one. It needs to look like this. And there's a space in between bash and the dash. And the initial command needs to look like this. And the only space there is between export and path. And then when you set up um, Droid VPN, settings. Connection protocol is TCP. All this is good. And your busy box path. If you want to find out where your busy box path is at, go into a file explorer. Use explorer. And, uh, okay. To get into the root folders, you got to configure it to where you, you allow root access so you can search the the uh, root folders <clears throat> and it's either going to be it's going to be system and it's going to be in bin mine's not in bin see there's no busy box and I'll show you that mine's in X bin X bin, and 
and there it is right there. Okay. So that's how you figure out, that's how you set that up. Um, and make sure there's nothing else. Alright. And then you should be good to go. Uh, thanks for watching.